This one's from Bob is a cool guy. Ooh, self-proclaimed, I dig it. Hey Brandon, so I have a problem being that I have too many boxes in my room from stuff I've ordered online. Bob, you are in a hoarder situation and in luck. I got the life hack just for you, cool guy. <laughs> you ever thought about this? <laughs> Mr. Cool Guy? I can't believe you have a username with cool guy in it and you haven't thought of making your own lazy boy out of your boxes. Get rid of that bed. Check this out, it reclines. It's also pretty easily customizable. You don't want this? But I do though. I dub V a hoarder. Just break them down, put them in the trash. Beth Christie says, do you have a life hack that helps when you're too lazy to carry a bunch of plates of food upstairs without making multiple trips? I do. Betty, you better have friends up there because I am not letting you eat 12 plates of spaghetti. Not again. Do you mind grabbing uh, all of them? What do you mean you're not hungry? Beth, I think Nike said it best when they said, Got milk? I don't know about you, but I cannot eat 12 plates of spaghetti without milk. Larissa Peterson says, my problem is that I love to cook, but in the last few weeks I've cut two fingers while prepping ingredients. Now my family and guy friend won't even allow me near sharp stuff. What do? Well, Larissa, let me ask you one question. Are you okay with sabotage? Here's my idea. Your family won't let you around sharp stuff because you keep eating yourself, okay? I don't know what I can and cannot say without getting eh, 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 my ad revenue taken away. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is make sure your family, over the next couple of weeks, eh, 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 okay, get them Hi. There you are. Sharpening literally everything in the house that doesn't need to be sharpened. I spilled one plate of spaghetti, okay? If, if you must know, just grab you one of these handy dandy eh, eh, things from Walmart, uh, take their favorite key, and you're just gonna go ahead and sharpen that key so whenever they get in the car to go somewhere, that somewhere is the hospital, okay? <laughs> oh, what's this? Sharp scissors? Well, now this end is sharp. You see where I'm going with this? Wow, guy friend, your breath stinks. You should go brush your teeth. Hey mom, what day of the month is it? Good. Larissa, you may not be allowed to prep veggies, but you can prep sabotage. Proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your birthday today? <laughs> wow, I didn't know. You make a great sous chef, Larissa. Don't get caught or you will be sued, chef. Psycho Sans says, my problem is whenever I eat ice cream, I always get a brain freeze. And when I eat it slowly, I still get one. How do I stop this from happening? Bad. I know, life hacks are all about using what you have to your advantage to make your life easier. Okay, I have my favorite ice cream here, fish food. It is 111 degrees today, so I just let this sit in the truck. I've never had a brain freeze drinking and hot tea, okay? Same concept. Let's use global warming to our advantage, am I right? We got us here, why not use it, am I right? <laughs> it's so hot. You don't have to let this sit in the truck. You can microwave this, you can put it in the oven, you can shove it up your microwave. I said that. Boom, life hack, you're welcome. Enjoy the heat. Hello, hi, yeah, this is the intro. Well, the middle tro. But just like kids, we're gonna overlook the middle one and just get right back into it. Michael says, uh, I just finished making my mug menagerie when my toe tumbler gave way and spilled LaCroix gore all over my kitchen floor. Once more, do you have a solution that would solve my problem? I do, Michael, I, I thought this would become an issue. Michael is referring to, I believe, episode three of me fixing all your problems. The LaCroix crotch goblet. Michael years uh, just suggesting that there there's a, there's a possible flaw in my patent, which... You like cake, Michael? I have the solution. I knew this would happen. Okay, so your toe tumbler took a turn. Okay, just add a basement encasement to make a statement, and you can take that all the way to the embankment. Consider your floor gore no more, okay? For $18.94, you can get the basement encasement. Mavis Creative Art says, my problem is my sister won't stop trying to squirt ketchup and mustard in my eyes. Mavis, I feel you, that sounds rough. And uh, I, 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 I hope you uh, can make the best of a sticky situation. But in this case, you're gonna make a sandwich out of a sticky situation. And with my patented bread goggles, I think you can do just that. Joke's on you, sis. Now I'm full. Mavis, I'm glad I could help you. One, eat healthier. Two, overthrow your sister's tyrannical reign. Destiny McQuinn says, my glasses cannot stay clean regardless of how often I clean them. They smudge constantly, so everything's a little blurry. It looks as though your destiny and I'm Brandon. And your destiny is not meant to be blurry. What if you had a nonstop cleaning experience? Your glasses are always being cleaned <coughs> and dried. You can set it up however you want. I just so happen to have mine <coughs> Using bread. You have a constant barrage of Windex and bread being launched at your glasses. I set mine up with Windex and whole wheat bread, but you could use white and or just a towel. You smell that? <coughs> That's the smell of clear vision. Your destiny looks very bright. Clint says, how do I tell my friends I don't want to hang out with them anymore? Have you tried sing song form? What a perfect opportunity to use my hand pan I never played. Pretty easy. Not the hand pan, I've never played it. Uh, but telling your friends, just say, no. Dude, guys, maybe even girls. for like 10 hours, they'll get the message. Actually, come to think of it, you can pretty much do anything you want. Sing song form. Now I don't wanna go to 
to grandma, she stinks. <laughs> That's cool. Never played this thing before. I like it though. Hey! Clint, just do that. You can also use that portion of the video, Clint, if you if you are not musically inclined, but you're inclined to tell your friends you don't like them no more. Grassman says, I just want to be appreciated for all the hard work I put in, man. You know what I've noticed? <laughs> I've noticed how much hard work you've been doing. All that stuff that you do that is specifically your job to do, and you're doing it, I see it, okay? If you break down the word appreciation, it just means a pre, she ate me, okay? But thank you, okay? The things that you do would not be done by you unless you did them, and I appreciate you for that. The only appreciation you really need is from yourself, grass man. And if you don't know how to appreciate yourself, I can help, okay? Just repeat after me. I, grass man. Hereby bequeath all my jewels and treasures to Brandon Ferris. Say it. Hurry. Jessica Brandow says, I got 99 problems and here's one. I love making plans with friends, but by the time the event comes around, my bed's way too comfy and I remember I like being by myself. Uh, what do? Jessica, do you. Like nails? You ever try that? <laughs> if you make your lazy boy into a workaholic, then you'll want to go hang out with your friends because this guy's just going to become a huge pain in your butt. You know what? I think I'll stay in for the night. No, I think I'll go out with friends. <laughs> because staying home would be torture. <laughs> Literally. Jessica, consider yourself with 98 problems now. Thing says, I have a problem whenever I'm eating my food, it always drops on my clothes and I get stains even when I'm eating over a plate. I suggest you invest in a spaghetti bib. With my one of a kind spaghetti bib, you're not making a mess, okay? The only thing you're making is leftovers for tomorrow. Thing, I suggest you give it a try. The spaghetti bib. Be the boss of your sauce. I'm working on catchphrases. Lady Mustang says I need a life hack for my attorney husband who has been taking over my island in the kitchen for the last four months and keeps promising he'll clean it and he does not. Okay, my first thought is to uh, sue your husband but then that would create a little bit more work for him and he would take up the island more. Where I used to live in Arkansas there was a tiny little island that was infested with hundreds of thousands of poisonous snakes. No one ever goes there, nor do they do their paperwork there. I'm suggesting infestation, or suggestation and infestation. We can work on the details later. You just go ahead and try to find yourself some poisonous snakes. Mr. Trash Rat says, my problem is that every time I come across something that looks remotely delicious, I put it in my mouth and start eating it without a second thought. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little secret, okay? This is how I lost 35 pounds of wrist weight. Yeah, I was pretty heavy handed. You gotta trick your brain, okay? Your brain's dumb dumb. Okay, don't tell him that, he knows it. The brain has a hard time figuring out what's real and what's imagined, okay? Notice how your mouth is a fire hydrant right now. You can print out these burger papers on my merch store at I'mBrandonFerris.com. It's real simple. You just stare at the burger and then you slip your naughty, naughty little food you're not supposed to eat right through the hamburger. <laughs> that was supposed to be a cucumber. Uh, I love eating water and drinking oxygen. That's good. Good for you. You're doing it backwards. Uh, it says, I have a problem opening my boxes. My family suggests knives, but I don't know how to use them. I got just the life hack. This work. Looks like I'm 1-0 in my boxing career. 